In 1983, a team of deeply pious scientists conducted a radical experiment in an undisclosed facility. The scientists had theorized that a human without access to any senses or ways to perceive stimuli would be able to perceive the presence of God. They believed that the five senses clouded our awareness of eternity, and without them, a human could actually establish contact by God. An elderly man who claimed to have nothing to live for was the test subject to volunteer. The scientist performed a complex operation which cut off every sensory nerve that was in his brain. Although the test subject retained full muscular function, he could not see, hear, taste, smell, or feel, with no possible way to communicate or even sense the outside world. He was alone with his thoughts. The scientist monitored him as he spoke aloud about the state of mind in jumbled and slurred sentences that he couldn't even hear. After four days, the man claimed to be hearing hushed, unintelligible voices in his head. Assuming it was a form of psychosis, the scientist paid little attention to the man's concerns. Two days later, the man cried that he could hear his dead wife speaking with him, and even more, he could communicate back. The scientists were intrigued but not convinced, until the subject started naming dead relatives of the scientists. He repeated personal information to the scientists that only their dead spouses would have known. At this point, a sizable portion of scientists left the study. After a week of conversing with the deceased through his thoughts, the subject became distressed, saying the voices were overwhelming. In every waking moment, his consciousness was bombarded with hundreds of voices that refused to leave him alone. He frequently threw himself against the wall, trying to elicit a pain response. He begged the scientists for sedatives so he could escape the voices by sleeping. The tactic worked for three days, until he started having severe night terrors. The subject repeatedly said he could see and hear the deceased in his dreams. Only a day later, the subject began to scream and claw at his non-functional eyes, hoping to sense something in the physical world. The hysterical subject now said that the voices of the dead were being deafening and hostile, speaking of hell and the end of this world. At one point he yelled, no heaven, no forgiveness, for five hours straight. He continually begged to be killed, but the scientists were convinced that he was establishing contact with God. After another day, the subject could no longer say coherent sentences. Seemingly mad, he started to bite off chunks of flesh from his arm. The scientist rushed into the test chamber and restrained them, so he couldn't kill himself. After a few hours of being tied down, the subject halted his struggling and screaming. He stared blankly at the ceiling as teardrops silently streaked from his face. For two weeks, the subject had to be manually rehydrated due to the constant crying. Eventually, he turned his head. Despite his blindness, he made an eye focus on the contact with the scientist. He whispered, I have spoken with God, and he has abandoned us. And his vital signs stopped. There was no apparent cause of death.